Hi there, I'm Olivier Lacan, and this is Ruby on Rails, the big picture. As a web developer, I've maintained large Ruby on Rails code bases, and as an open source developer, I've contributed to both the Ruby language and Rails itself. This is a high-level introduction to the Ruby on Rails web application framework with juicy low-level bits. The course is mainly for backend web developers who may have some familiarity with alternative application frameworks in other languages than Ruby, but I won't be making sweeping assumptions about prior knowledge here. So even if you're new to web app development, hop on in. First, we'll cover what Ruby on Rails is, where does Ruby the language end, and where Rails the framework begin. We'll look at what Ruby on Rails stands for, its conventions and philosophies like convention over configuration, because those inform how you can use Rails most efficiently and be very productive as a result. Crucially, we'll take a peek at everything Rails does for you, from security defaults that are otherwise so easy to get wrong to database storage, migration, and validation logic. Because it's so easy to get lost in a large application framework, we'll look at the main parts of Rails so you can know how they work together when handling a typical browser request and where your code is supposed to go. Lastly, we'll dive into how to actually use Rails to build a small application in 15 minutes so you can see the developer tools Rails offer in action, but also how to quickly build a working application prototype with Rails scaffolds. If you're the kind of person who likes to follow along, this last module will be ideal for you. Until then, sit back and hang in there because it's always best to warm up before you jump into the deep end. Now it's time for us to go through the what, the why, and the how, which should leave you with all the context and perspective to understand Ruby on Rails, the big picture. <laughs> 